All right, now, growing up in the Midwest, there was nothing better than having a snow day. Back in my day, schools wouldn't close down for shit. There'd be three feet of snow on the ground. You'd have wampas walking around the street, snatching up kids left and right. It definitely wasn't like it is now, where schools close down for every little itty bitty reason. Holy hell, it's cloudy outside. Close the schools down. Get everybody in the basement. No school today. No, we weren't that lucky. Our school superintendent didn't give a shit about us. Uh, sir, you think we should close the schools down today? Close the schools? Why the fuck would we do something like that? Uh, well, three children died of exposure yesterday. Oh, who the hell cares? They were only first graders. Nobody gives a damn about them. Keep the schools open. So on the rare occasion that our school did have a snow day, it was a pretty big deal. You check the news early in the morning, see your school is canceled. Aw, oh, hell yeah. I ain't doing shit today. I'm gonna eat some toaster strudels, play some Nintendo 64. Hell, I might even hang out with my mom today and watch Young and the Restless. Who knows? I look out the window. Michael's already out there shoveling his sidewalk. His stepdad's out there watching him with a beer in his hand. Ah, put your back into it, you woman. This is your punishment for clogging the goddamn toilet over and over again. Now on snow days, all the kids in my neighborhood would usually meet up at Williams Park to go sledding. Even though Williams Park wasn't known for their big sledding hills, they only had one dinky little 12 footer. Wow, whoopity do. But what Williams Park did have was a bunch of homeless people hanging out in the woods doing whatever homeless people in the woods do. Now, why our parents would let us go to the park in the first place, I'm not sure. Have fun at the park. And remember, if any homeless guys ask you to sit on their lap, just say, no thanks, maybe next time. So we're out there, we got our sleds. Michael shows up last minute with like a garbage can lid. My stepdad said he'd buy me a real sled when I stopped using so much goddamn toilet paper. The homeless guys are watching us from a distance. They're licking their lips and shit. Ooh, I bet I could snatch up that kid in the orange coat. I bet nobody would miss his obnoxious ass. Michael's over there totally oblivious, sitting on his ass, eating snow by the handful. Yummy, this is premium snow. Michael, your ass is gonna get dysentery eating that goddamn dirty snow. I don't care, I'm a dirty little bastard. Now there's only so much fun you can have sledding down a little 12 foot hill, so we start doing other shit. We'd be out there making snow angels like a bunch of kids from the 1920s. Michael, why does your angel look like that? Huh, maybe I did something wrong. We'd be out there pissing our names in the snow just for the hell of it. Michael's able to write all the names of the Ninja Turtles thanks to all the goddamn snow he's been eating. Dave's over there blasting people in the face with snowballs. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? I'm the Brahma Bull, bitch! Well, a kid like Jonathan doesn't take it too kind getting smoked in the face with a snowball, so he starts hucking rocks at us. Well, now this is no longer a gentleman's game, a snowball fight. This is all-out warfare. We're taking cover behind trees. Okay, we're gonna do a side maneuver and open up their left flank. Michael, you're on point. Wait a minute, where the hell's Michael at? Hey, you guys! There's snow on the dome Dumpster tastes the best. Come and try it. God damn it, Michael. Get your ass over here. Hang on. This dirty old man said he's going to give me a Snickers if I sit on his lap. Oh my god, they killed Michael. Oh, you bastards. I wanted to kill Michael. You got kids getting hit with sticks and shit. David's throwing icicles like a javelin. <laughs> you got me good. There's people in the park walking their dogs, staring at us in shock. What in the frickity Freddie Prince Jr. are these kids doing? We're having a snowball fight. By the time we get back to our neighborhood that night, we're all beat up. We got black eyes and shit. We're taking Michael's ass back to his house in a gurney. Holy hell, what happened to him? Uh, nothing. He just lost a snowball fight, that's all. Yeah, well, good. That's what he gets for using all the goddamn toilet paper. Had to wipe my ass with a coffee filter this afternoon, thanks to him. You can wheel his broken ass right up to his room. He's grounded. BruceDude.com